Alright, the first step is to unlock the Temple of Time. To do that, you need to go and talk to the monument behind the castle on the sea. And the most important requirement, you need to defeat one time Indra boss. Of course, if you haven't beaten them yet. This is so hard boss to summon. So I will make, or I already made it, the guide how to summon him. So don't forget to check my channel. Alright, after we've done it, we head to the great tree. You can get there any way you want. We need to climb up on that tree. We need to get to the top of this tree. If you have flying fruit, it will be so easy to you. So I don't. And I need to climb the roots. And we just need to going up, going up again 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 so easy guys and while we're climbing don't forget to join our discord link in description don't forget that guys all right we're almost there and and yeah yeah god damn it no no i need to do it again all right i'm here the next step guys is to find these invisible npc we need to talk to him and he will teleport us to another place and here we are in the temple of time that our final destination so we just open that and now we need to go back the next step is to get one material the mirror fractal that material drops from the doll king boss and that boss is so hard to summon too and i spent so much time to do that of course if you have mirror fractal you don't need to do that and if you are not right now i will show you how to summon these boss now we are going to the sea of trees location here we need to find a specific island that island so we need to find a special NPC which can trade to us a very rare chalice. So we are going to the middle of this island and here you will find this special NPC right there. The name of this NPC is Sweet Crafter. So we need to talk to him and he will offer to exchange 10 conjured cocoa and the god chalice. If you already have these items you just can trade them. And if you are not now I will show you how to obtain those items. From this these bad boys you can get this conjured cocoa you just need to kill them all again 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 and soon you will get your cocoa remember you need only 10 conjured cocoa and to get this god chalice you need to defeat elite pirates and this is so annoying thing in this game believe me you just need to talk to elite hunter and he will tell you where you can find these elite pirates this is so useful thing so i recommend to do that quest a lot of times okay when you've got this god chalice, you need to go to the sweet crafter. Okay, we are in the place, don't forget to grab this chest. And when you have this god chalice and 10 conjured cocoa, you can craft this chalice to summon this doking. And yeah, <laughs> how many problems we have with that thing? Okay, we have the last thing to do. Head to this island, right here, this pink, big, large island, and we need to find a special NPC. That NPC stands close to the spot area and here you'll find this rip mama that npc helps us to summon this docking but we have a problem we need to defeat 500 enemies in that location do you still need this before race <laughs> yeah i know that's so annoying anyway we need to do that of course you can find public server or you can find some friends by the way you can find them in our discord link in description all right boys after we done it we can finally open this portal Ooh, that was so hard all right let's defeat this docking you'll find this portal behind this house and we're going to defeat by the way guys this is so hard boss to defeat so you need a team you can do this alone and here's some notes you need to know guys you have only 15 minutes to defeat that boss you need at least two buddhas because without them it will be so hard by the way that boss has we too though you need to be ready now because you have only one try i had so much pain in my ass so don't forget to leave a like guys and subscribe to my channel because that guide was so hard i ever made all right when we done it we have this mirror fractal which has 100 chains drop and some and some other stuff and also you will get the red key which you need for the puzzle to do awakening all right
right after that painful way we need to do more painful steps to get this v4 race so make your butt ready we're going right now the most hard part in this guide is to find mirage island and the full moon ball yeah this is impossible guys i tried so hard i tried so many times and hopefully my subs help me with that on my private server and here's some tips for you guys which helps you guys to beat this step first you need to find the public server which has this full moon or when this full moon starts soon it's so important guys if you see that in the current server full moon stars you need to find the mirage island the mirage island is so rare event sea event and to start it you need to sail the boat and i'm recommend to not be near any islands because this island need a space a lot of space so i recommend to find this island between sweet sea and the floating turtle i tried so many times i changed a lot of servers i promise that's not an easy part you will be suffering i swear okay now i'm head to this mirage island which spawns behind this floating turtle but i have so much trouble with that because the full moon ends and it ends very soon that is so big problem guys so big problem so i need to hurry up but that island is so far from me and this moon is don't even think to stop let's see if i can to get to this island before this full moon ends moon is so important because without that you can wake your race let's see if i can when you land to this island you need to find the highest point on that island and the tallest point is that tree you need to stand on top and you need to stare on the moon and you need to enable your ability your race ability after that you need to wait until this moon starts glowing you need to wait and spam your ability again 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 and after 10 or 15 seconds you will see that moon starts glowing and you will see the message your mirror fractal has resonated with the moon and you're almost done guys you're almost done because now we need to find a special artifact before the full moon ends and that was my problem because it was so late the full moon ends and i didn't find anything so make sure you have enough time to stare to the moon and after that to find the artifact which by the way hides in that island do we even understand how much work we have to obtain this v4 race that's impossible and it's not even the end whoa okay after you found this gear you need to go to the temple of time which we open already to use this gear unfortunately i didn't find this gear so i'm just show you how to use it okay we need to go again to this invisible npc and talk to him after that we'll get to this place here we need to find the special handle and open the special door so we're going forward by the way you can find this invisible npc to get back here you'll find this way to that handle and as you guys understand we need to pull that handle let's interact with that and as you guys see i can't pull that handle because i don't have this gear and of course if you have this gear you can open this door when you open this door you will see nothing because we can obtain now b4 race the next steps will be available in the next update which will be released january 6 and then i will show you the second part to how to obtain the v4 race so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out